Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor, and in today's video I wanted to talk about INTPs and their healthiest patterns. Because when you get the MTI test result, when you find out you're an INTP, sometimes you're either given the celebrity definition of an INTP, the best version of an INTP possible, and sometimes you're given the average definition of the INTP, and sometimes you're give, the, given unhealthy stereotypes about the INTP. And I want to talk about what an INTP is at their best. And I want to talk about and address some of the more unhealthy patterns an INTP can struggle with and how to get past them. And this is best understood from the perspective of the four different paths. Uh, it's, it's a part of, it's intermixed with development. It's how you develop and how you grew up and how your school and how your family and your parents and your life taught you to act as an INTP. We can make choices in our life. We can make choices to either be more introverted, more intuitive, more thinking, or more perceiving. We can choose two out of these letters and develop them more than the others. And some INTPs go more towards intuition, where some INTPs go more towards thinking. Some INTPs go more towards perceiving, where some INTPs go more towards introversion. And this typically explains why INTPs can appear different from one another. It depends on what life path you are currently on, how you choose to act and what you see as your biggest goal. The introverted INTPs are going to be more stable personality types, struggling with indecisiveness. The green INTPs, the perceiving INTPs, will overall be more decisive and confident at expense of being somewhat less stable and being a little more prone to neuroticism. The intuitive INTP is going to have a lot more energy and passion, but less direction and a bigger tendency towards procrastination. And the thinking INTP, the person that values thinking more than intuition due to developmental and social, uh, social reasons, is going to be more conscientious. This INTP is going to be more about doing things correctly and according to a certain procedure. They're going to be more about pushing their limits and learning new things. And depending on which of these directions you choose to, to tune in on, you're going to experience different issues. Now, the introverted and intuitive INTP, the yellow INTP, is perhaps the most normal version of the INTP. This is the INTP that is just like the average person. They're all about having fun and enjoying what life has to offer. This is the philosopher of the INTPs. It's the INTP that is the most about perspectives and what-ifs and possibilities. This is the INTP that is the most about exploring, seeing new things, seeing new perspectives. This is the INTP that is going to appear the most adrift in a sense that they don't have a life calling, they don't have a lot of ambition, they don't have a lot of uh, decisiveness or confidence to stand up and press forward for a certain idea. But... They have peacefulness and serenity and understanding, wisdom, a lot of wisdom. And the key issue for this INTP is dealing with or being a little too submissive. This is the INTP that struggles the most with being a nice girl or a nice guy, if you may. This is the kind of INTP that seeks to win and it has a habit of trying too hard to win other people's affection. So you're not an ambitious person. So you don't have a life calling. So you have a tendency to submit to what other people want. You have a tendency to go out of your way to give other people what they want. And this comes at the expense of some authenticity. For the yellow INTP, it's about learning to stand up for your own needs. And to not compromise yourself too much in giving and doing acts for other people. The INTP doesn't find feeling and judging fulfilling. But the INTP can still fall into this trap of going too hard into feeling and judging. 
going too hard into managing people and managing expectations and trying to respond to what people want and desire from them. And this INTP feels uh, that they get no satisfaction from it. They feel like they give to other people but they get nothing back. And this is an issue. The INFJ finds giving and doing acts for other people and managing other people's expectations inherently rewarding. But the INTP feels like they are putting themselves into another person and giving up their own energy and getting nothing back. The INTP is more clingy and more desperate for approval and appreciation in when doing this because they can't get any inherent satisfaction from it. As an INTP in the yellow path, it's about redirecting to things that give you a greater sense of satisfaction and a greater sense of power and confidence. It's about finding a skill or something you're good at and polishing yourself in that skill. It's about mastering yourself and how you work and mastering how other people work, mastering how the game works, in tuning in with thinking and perceiving, in tuning in with your hacker function to hack reality, to get a greater sense of grasp of what is the smart thing to do and what is the stupid thing to do. When you start thinking in terms of smart and stupid instead of favors and rewards, that's when you are doing the right thing as an INTP. Now the INTP on the green path has the opposite issue from this spectrum. This is the INTP the most in the grip of extroversion and sensing. I'm not talking about extroverted sensing here, I'm talking about the extroverted and the sensing attitude. I'm talking about when you are getting restless, I'm talking about when you're getting too caught in reality. I'm talking about often the issues the issues an INTP feels in the green path is a sense of instability and a sense of lack of energy in sensing and in being too outgoing. This is the INTP that is to most struggling with managing reality, managing everything around them, managing everything happening, pressing them in different ways. The INTP in this route may feel the most like they're struggling with overall restlessness and being rushed and being too much about attention. It's difficult for this INTP to be alone. They are too much about grabbing and getting other people to look at and notice them. They're too attached to what other people, having other people see them and hear them. They want to speak out for and they're really good at something. They have a skill or craft that they are great at and they do it and they get a lot of satisfaction from it. But they don't have a passion and they don't have a sense of something that gives them stability. So the green INTP with strong thinking and perceiving but weak introversion and intuition goes into sensing and extroversion and becomes much more about getting other people to look at them. They want to be heard. They want to get attention for what they are good at. And this INTP is kind of accused of, can be rightfully accused of showboating. Talking is too much, taking over in social circles and constantly demanding attention from other people. Telling everyone, look at me, listen to me, pay attention to me as I talk about my passion and how good I am and how skilled I am and how tactical I am. And uh, the key for this INTP, the important redirection for this INTP is to become, is to find the inherent meaning of what you do. It's to find energy by tapping more into intuition. It's to find stability by tapping more into introversion. Looking at yourself and simulating on and theorizing on and seeing how you will progress in the future. Seeing yourself and thinking about your goals and your vision and your long-term game. An INTP doesn't get any inherent energy from being seen by other people or by being heard by other people. And that's why INTPs and extroversion and sensing can be so obnoxious because it's so much, uh, they become so de dependent on other people's attention for stability. Now the blue INTP has typically very strong introversion and very strong thinking. This is the most expertful INTP. 
this is the INTP that is more or less always right. The INTP with strong introversion and strong thinking struggles with weak intuition and weak perceiving. So like the yellow INTP, there are issues here of struggling to speak up for yourself and what you value and what you find important. But also, like the green INTP, there is an issue here of not getting energy or not getting any sense of enthusiasm or passion out of what you do. So the problem with this INTP is finding confidence in mastering a routine. It's finding confidence in self-discipline. This INTP has an unhealthy fixation with self-discipline. This INTP wants everything to happen according to a certain routine or a certain order. They want everything to go in a certain way. And they dislike when things go out and break out of this right way. This INTP is the most prone to being perfectionistic to a fault. When other people do things in a way that is unusual to the INTP, it doesn't have to be wrong, it doesn't have to be right. But the INTP will regardless feel that their own way is the only right way to do it and that the other person is an idiot for doing it in another way. Now, this INTP is unhealthy in this fixation because going into sensing and going into judging to find discipline and to find the perfect way to do things and to find a perfect routine, the way to say something, a script to speak out for, isn't going to give this INTP any energy. It's not going to give them any inherent enthusiasm. It's not going to give them confidence. It's more a shield from it. So this INTP needs to redirect into intuition and into perceiving, into tapping into their creative ability and finding more confidence in this creative ability. This INTP may want to consider alternative perspectives. They might want to ease up on their expectations sometimes, to become less perfectionistic in how they want other people to act and do things, to give other people the benefit of the doubt to solve problems, to look at the results not so much as uh, the procedure in how the person gets there, in seeing different ways to solve a problem and identifying different ways to solve a problem and seeing that there are many different ways to answer or respond to an issue, not just sensing and judging, not just the way you have done it before. Finally, the red INTP is the creative type. But this INTP has weak introversion and weak thinking. While the INTP that is blue is good at being expertful and having mastery in what they do. The red INTP has no trust in their ability, in their knowledge, in their expertise. So this INTP is too dependent on other people's opinions. This INTP is too dependent on wanting other people to agree with them, getting other people to always agree with them on everything wanting everyone to always see it the same way they do. And this INTP is unhealthy in this fixation because in thinking too much about what other people want, you're going to find yourself getting no passion and you're not going to get any stability from it because people's opinions are fickle, they're always changing and what people think always depends on what you think. If you're insecure, other people might also be. And it's hard to get any lasting security from what other people see. So, as an INTP in this EF pattern, redirect by tapping more into introversion and thinking. Find balance by practicing and learning ahead of time. Practice and find your own answer and your own solution. Trust in your own ability to solve a problem without asking other people how to do it. I know the key reason why we fall into these negative patterns is because we are dealing with negative emotions and fears. The red INTP 
taps into extroversion and feeling because they believe that will solve their fear and how afraid they are in advancing an idea they have or in jumping to the next platform. The green INTP has an issue with feeling weak or not feeling good enough and that is often why they are so dependent on getting other people to look at them and appreciate them and see how good they are. The blue INTP is and, uh, and feels too anxious because they're not sure if they are smart enough or if they actually know anything. And so they go into sensing and judging to get some kind of security from history. If there is a past way to do things, you don't have to think of a new one. Finally, the yellow INTP struggles with anger, in a sense. Anger and frustration over the world not being the way they see it and envision it to be. And anger in the sense that you seek to understand, and you seek to understand how other people feel, and you seek to understand how the world works. But sometimes it's hard to understand other people because people are quite irrational. Still, it's all about rising against negative emotions and letting negative emotions guide you and tell you that, yeah, I'm afraid, yeah, I'm angry, yeah, I'm insecure. Yeah, I'm anxious, but I will rise to the next level. I will advance to the next stage. I will hit the next expansion. I will beat this content. I'll beat this level and I will move to the next level. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope that it gave you as an INTP some better insight into what you are dealing with as an INTP and how you can grow beyond it.